Hello, I'm Ray Jones and I'm Professor of Health Informatics in the Faculty of Health and Human Sciences at Plymouth University. And uh, I'm just here at the start of this uh, short video which is going to give you a bit more detail about the five posts that we have on this project called EPIC, which is eHealth, Productivity and Innovation in Cornwall. So this is a collaborative project partly funded by the European Regional Development Fund, the ERDF. Um, it's led by Plymouth University, so I'm the project director, and it's in collaboration with a number of other people, particularly um, Creative England um, run a whole another side of the project, and then we're collaborating in particular with Kerno Health, and within Kerno Health, two GPs, uh, two general practices in Cornwall, um, CPIC, which is the Cornwall Partnership in Care, and again two care homes, um, and the Patients Association. The, the project will start in, in May 2017, and we're looking for five people to work with us on the project. This is a three-year three project, so these are three-year posts. So I'm assuming that by watching this video, you already got a good understanding of what eHealth is about. But we should just emphasize that um, we're taking a very broad view of eHealth here. So not just apps um, and uh, online packages, the internet, but also uh, wearables, things that you might wear, which might be Fitbits, it might be insoles for people with dementia, uh, also devices such as um, robots for uh, telepresence, this is a giraffe, or as you see on here, on the right hand side, um, the robotic seal paro, which might be used in care homes. The context for this project, the EPIC project in Cornwall is well known. Uh, Cornwall is a very rural county. Um, it has a generally an older population. It does have the infrastructure of, of super fast but actually sometimes that super fast is not quite as fast as you think it might be. Um, it's got the possibilities of um, devolution and the possibilities for better links between health and social care, uh, but that needs to be developed. Um, There's certainly a lack of skills and critical mass. There are job short, job um, vacancies in many places that can't be filled, particularly in the social care sector. Um, but as well as that, there are, of course, pockets of excellence that we need to build on. And there is a limited but specialised local market. And if Cornwall wants to build a, uh, this up as a sector, they need to export possibly to other regions and perhaps other countries. The approach that we're taking in the EPIC project is a, is a bottom up approach involving all the relevant people, all the stakeholders to identify the problems that they want to solve the things that most pressing need and for which they think technology can be at least part of the solution. And then in parallel, we'll be working with companies and groups to see if those solutions can be developed or at least adapted locally. So the rationale for this approach is that the e-health has got great potential, but it's so often failed. And it needs to have um, a shared view amongst users of its purpose. It needs to have their buy-in. It needs to have uh, collective action to, to redesign healthcare tasks. And it needs upskilling to ensure the confidence in such innovations. And the context is also important in interpreting and implementing the results of any research, particularly for e-health, where you've had uh, rapid technological change. You've possibly got legacy systems and you've got maybe organisational memories of recent successes and failures. So we need to work with users, not only to identify their needs and the implication for the design and development of new or the choice of existing products, but also to identify the learning needs um, and address the missing skills of both the user base and the, the designers of those new products. And thirdly, to um, develop the systems and technologies, um, but we need to have a streamlined route for the translation of research into practice, and that should be informed by local users and the context. The main focus of EPIC will be 
on this sort of intersection between general practice and care homes. But that's only really sort of the main focus and one place to start because we see that as one of the areas where there is um, the most scope for using technology and where there is actually a great need that's having a knock-on effect on both the uh, primary and secondary care and, and, in, and, and in the care homes. But the, we emphasize that this will be a bottom-up approach and it will be focusing on the problems uh, identified by our 10 user groups across the county. You're not going to have enough time to look at all this slide, but uh, and I'll come back to it a bit later on in this video. But Creative England uh, will be responsible for the the bottom half. You'll see there. There's two boxes, one at the top which is looking concentrating on the users, and the second one at the bottom, which is concentrating on the what's called the SMEs, small and medium enterprises, and Creative England will be concentrating on that. But we'll be coming together. Uh, frequently through our, out our efforts through this thing called the Challenge Fund. The five jobs which are being advertised and which this video is about are all within uh, the P University of Plymouth section, that is the top half, but you will have contact with Creative England. So just to uh, reiterate, we'll be taking a bottom-up approach to identifying needs, uh, improving the skills and the culture through uh, workshops across the county. Uh, these will involve all health and social care professionals as well as uh, patients and some students. These will then set up locality uh, groups to focus on particular projects. Um, the project will support these groups and then they can then put forward their ideas to the challenge fund uh, to get further funding if they think they need that to actually take that project to fruition. So this uh, challenge fund is quite a large challenge fund, £600,000. So anybody uh, within Cornwall uh, will be able to form a small consortium to bid for funds. That uh, challenge fund will be managed by Creative England. There will also be uh, a, a small proportion of it set aside for student managed uh, or student led projects. Uh, so encourage the uh, involvement of students from any of the, uh, the universities in Cornwall.
We think it's uh, very important that the project uh, is based in Cornwall, working with care homes and GPs so that we have a chance for to discuss stuff, those water cooler moments when uh, you get a chance to sort of have a chat about something and so that, so that the, both the project and our partners are well aware of what everybody's doing and understand the problems that are being faced and the solutions that we're trying to build. So you will be working uh, either hot desking, maybe in a GP practice or in a care home. We've got two uh, of each or possibly in the in, in, de in office space where we have um, small and medium companies based. Uh, and from time to time, you'll also come to the Plymouth University main campus. You can, of course, also work from home at times. So you will need to be mobile across Cornwall. Just for completeness here, I'm going to uh, give you the details of the two PhD studentships that we're also offering. Um, so these are separate from the five posts. Uh, these are two three-year stipends. Uh, you get a small a fee of about 14, 15,000 pound a year plus your fees paid. Uh, and you'll see here that on the left, um, one of these is focusing mainly on the technology and will be supervised by uh, Aaron Angsu, uh, Craig and uh, Torbjorn and the one on the right uh, this will be supervised by myself, um, Sheena and Jackie. And lastly there are two other posts um, one is the project manager that's somebody who uh, needs a really good understanding of uh, European projects um, as well as collaborative um, projects in um, in this sort of sector and there's also uh, an administrative assistant post um, the adverts for those are both on jobs AC UK